Hi there, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NBA action for March 6th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to this section right here, VIP Club, which has all the tools to help you with your picks. Okay, so there's four of them we have to look at here. So the first one here is Boston Cleveland. Boston comes in average up. Winners of four out of their last six. They are second in the Eastern Conference, while Cleveland is ice cold down. You can see they have lost four out of their last five, and they are fourth in the conference. Uh, if you take a look at the over-under, you can see that Cleveland has been over in five of the last six, Boston over in four out of the last six, but under in two out of their last three. The score predictor has Boston by a nine-point margin on the road with 73% level of confidence. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups this season, you can see just back a couple of days ago, it was a Boston win at home uh, by four points, and they uh, lost that on the road on November the second, and they also lost on October the 28th. So Cleveland is two and one so far this season. On the power ranks indicator, you can see Boston near the top at plus 27, while Cleveland was at 28, and they had dipped. And then they are now stable over the last couple of days at plus 22. If you look at the stability factor, you see both teams are extremely stable, extremely consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end, though, I like Boston to even the score for the season and then game going over the line. Working at Philadelphia and Indiana, Philadelphia is coming in average up. You can see that they are 4-2 over their last six. Actually, they came off of a loss yesterday. That's not yet reflected on here, so they are just 1-3 and three over their last four. Um, Indiana burning hot. They are 3-1 and one over their last four. The power ranks indicator shows Philadelphia at plus 23. Well, Indiana has increased from plus 12. Just about a week ago, up to plus 22, so they are really on a good upward trend at the moment. The score predictor has Indiana by 11-point margin of victory with 65% level of confidence. You can see Indiana has been in games over the line in their last six. Philadelphia over in three, under in three, but under in three of their last four. Head-to-head -head this season, you can see that Philadelphia has won both meetings, both at home. This is the first game in Indiana. The stability factor shows Philadelphia and Indiana both very stable, very consistent with regard to their fair to underdog status. In the end, though, I think this is a uh, Philadelphia win. I, don't, I like Philadelphia um, in this one, and uh, I would pass on the over-under. We're going to go with Atlanta and Miami next. You can see that Miami is Dead stats at the moment. They have lost five out of their last six games. Atlanta is averaged down. They're coming off of a loss. Two and one over their last three. If you can see at the over under. So if you look at the over under, you can see that Atlanta is over in two of their last three. Um, actually, three of their last four. While Miami is over in just one out of their last three. So they're kind of trending on opposite sides of the over under. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, both teams are on the upward trend. Miami has increased from 12 to 18. Well, Atlanta has, was at plus five just about a week ago. Well, about a week and a half ago now. And they have increased to plus 16. So you can see both on the upward trend. The score predictor has Atlanta by a comfortable margin of 10 points, 110, 118 to 108, but only 49% confidence. So just under the, uh, the probability of a flip of a coin there. Head-to-head -head wise, you can see that, uh, let's see, there's been two games between the teams this season, and they have split. Atlanta winning at home by eight back on January 16th and Miami on the road back on November 27th by eight points. The stability factor, you can see that both teams have been moderately stable. Uh, Miami more so than Atlanta, plus 15 for Miami, plus six for Atlanta. And Atlanta really has been only very moderately stable for pretty much the entire season. So in the end, though, I like Miami at home in a game going over the line. The last one we want to look at, which should be the game of the day, is Toronto Raptors and Denver Nuggets. You can see that both teams are burning hot. Toronto winning five of their last six. Same thing with Denver. They have won five out of their last six. As far as over-under goes, uh, they've been trending on opposite sides of the line. You can see under in the last three for Toronto and three of the last four over for Denver. So I'd kind of avoid the over-under in this scenario most in most cases. But if you look at the score predictor, 
Uh, Denver by 132 to 108. Pretty high level of confidence in the pick at 67%. The power ranks indicator also shows a disparity between the teams. Denver at plus 28 near the top of the, the league all season. While Toronto has been up and down and they have increased from 6 to plus 14. Um, if you look at the head to head, you can see that uh, in two games this season that they've each won one, both won on the road, ironically. But in this case, I like Denver at home. They are considerably better. Denver at home by double digits in a game going over the line. So there you go. Those are the four games for the NBA that we wanted to take a look at for March the 6th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.